Welcome back to BuzzTV Alma Mass. Now let's head on over to your pledge. Good morning, Larry McKenzie. Today is day six, Thursday, March 17th. I'm Ez, and these are your student announcements. The next success team dress up day will be Monday. As we send off winter and welcome spring, our theme is goodbye winter while wearing white. If you are staying after school today and need to ride the late bus, you need to sign up on Schoology by 9 a.m. Seventh grade is having a pretzel sale tomorrow during ninth period in room 511. $1 each, so bring money. Think Spring. Builders Club will meet Tuesday after school in room 607. We are planning spring field trips and permission slips will be handed out. Upcoming are the Easter Egg Hunt and Earth Day. We will also recycle and continue projects starting started last meeting. Sign up for the late bus or arrange for parent pickup at 4 p.m. See Mrs. Shingler in 607 with any questions. Attention 7th and 8th graders. 2021 leftover yearbooks will be sold on a first come first serve basis. You need to order these in Schoology. They will be delivered on Friday, March 25th. Success Team is sponsoring Bingo and the Gymside LGI on some upcoming Fridays, periods 8 and 9. The cost is 15 Zings and can be purchased in the Zing store. 8th graders must sign up by tomorrow. There are 8th grade gift card prizes. There won't be any food or snacks provided. You will have your water bottles with you. Join the 3rd Annual Girls in STEM Night. This is a fun evening for girls to take part in activities led by a society of women engineers and our tech ed teachers. If you're interested in joining, sign and return the school G form to Miss Kale by next Friday. Spots are limited. The hive is open for seventh grade only today. Today's lunch is Southwest Cheesy Queso Pull Aparts. Tomorrow's lunch is Pizza Sticks. Good luck to the Emmaus Ice Hockey Team at the Phantom Cup Championships tonight at the PPL Center. Admission is free. That's all for me. Now let's head on over to your world news. Hey, Elmas, it's Bailey here with your world news update. A species of bats has resurfaced recently after being thought extinct for 40 years. This bat is called the Hills Horseshoe Bat. The bat has also been classified as the most comical looking out there. Of more than 1,300 bat species on our planet, this might be the most comical looking, so says the chief scientist at the Bat Conservation International while describing the bat. Dr. Winifred Frick, BCI's chief scientist said, the facial features were exaggerated to the point of comical. Horseshoe bats are easily distinguishable from other bats by the characteristic horseshoe shape and the specialized skin flaps on their noses, end quote. What do you think about the rediscovery of the horseshoe bats? That's all for me. Now let's head on over to your weather update. Good morning, Oma Mess. Today's weather is going to be 54 with a low of 43 and rainy. Tomorrow, it looks like it's going to be 72 with a low of 53 and partly cloudy. Why is the sun so smart? It has over 5,000 degrees. That's all for weather and have a great day. He was the best Good morning, all of us. It's Chloe bringing you your sports news for the day. In the NBA, Kyrie Irving made it two nights in a row with a 60-point scorer in the NBA. Irving scored a career-high 60 points, most in the Nets' NBA history, to lead Brooklyn to a 150-108 to victory over the Orlando Magic on Tuesday night. Irving shot 20 for 31, including 8 of 12 on three-pointers in 35 minutes. He made 12 of 13 free throws in matching the highest scoring game in the NBA this season, done just a night earlier by Minnesota's Carl Anthony Towns against San Antonio. His teammate Kevin Durant said, quote, The night after Carl Towns had an incredible performance and then to have Kyrie do it the next night, the league is in an amazing place right now. We're seeing a lot of talent displayed every night, and this is one of the elite ones, end quote. 
So LMMS, what do you think of this accomplishment? That's it for me, now let's over to Clara with your entertainment news update. Good morning LMMS, did you know that colors can have a huge impact on your life? Scientists have proven that different colors can make you feel different things. For example, red, orange, and yellow can make you feel anger, love, happiness, etc. Cool colors like blue, green, and purple can make you feel calm, sad, and relaxed. Also, colors can influence what type of food you want to eat. For example, orange can increase your appetite at restaurants, mostly fast food ones. Blue, on the other hand, can make you lose your appetite because there are no natural foods that are actually bright blue. Besides food, colors can also change the way you see people. The color of clothes someone wears can express that person's attributes and personality. But also, don't judge someone based on the colors they wear. That's all for entertainment, and let's head on over to your bit. It's Italian. Pizza? Yeah. That was crazy. Eating on Tuesdays. Um, LeBron James loves it. I, um, I got it with tacos on this one. You got it right. Woohoo! Um, it's long. It, um, you put mustard on it and ketchup. Oh. I'm glizzy, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's like, it's like kind of like red and it's long. And you put like ketchup and stuff on it. A glizzy. A glizzy. <laughs> Forget it. It's usually in Pancakes. like layers. Cake. No, with sauce. Onions. With sauce. Oh, layers. Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie? Oh, I know what it is. Lasagna. Yeah. Oh, I got it. First try. <laughs> it's round. Oh, okay. It's round. Blow it. No. Okay, okay. You put it for bun. Pumpkin sausage. No. Eggs? No, no. Hot dog. Yes. Oh. All right. Delightful. No, bro. It's supposed to be fried. Yeah. Uh, you you put red sauce on it, right? It's Italian. Yeah. Red sauce. Red sauce. Red sauce. Red sauce. Red it's a Spanish dish. This is so easy. It has sour cream. You gonna guess now, Jacob? Yes! Oh my god! Yes! That's all from Buzz TV. Have a great day.